Hello and welcome to a recap of today's open source live code hangout. Today we've been working on the Open CiviWiki project. You can find this project on github.com slash CiviWiki under the Open CiviWiki repository. Didn't do a lot of coding today, mostly what's called backlog grooming or kind of project management in a way. We went through the issues and closed some, clarified others, moved several over here to discussions, and added a couple uh, that were kind of relating to other uh, tasks that are in progress. It's a bit of a bundle of things, but in any case, just trying to organize things a bit better and tag things with the help wanted, good first issue, uh, and Hectoberfest um, keywords, now that I notice, uh, so that people can get Hectoberfest credit. So what we'll do is label these as Hectoberfest. Very cool. So yeah, if you stop by the OpenCV Wiki repository and go to the Issues tab, you'll see some unclaimed issues and some that are in progress relating to Hectoberfest. Basically, anything you work on in October, we'll make sure to label it as Hectoberfest. We have some older issues, even going back uh, 2018 and before. Not just 2018, I think I moved the 2017 ones to discussions. They're kind of blocked right now um, by some housekeeping work we're in the progress of. So please, if you've uh, got the time, help us with these housekeeping tasks to remove uh, Backbone JS from this project. We want to port everything over to the Django template syntax, keep it nice and simple. And then we can start on some new features. I did open a pull request um, relating to developer experience and reviewed uh, an existing pull request, which is kind of ambiguously described. There was no description. In fact, it, over in the title, it says what issues it closes. But as a pull request reviewer, I shouldn't uh, kind of need to uh, figure out what this is trying to solve. We need to just kind of help um, the person out who's reviewing our code by describing what we're trying to do succinctly, linking it to an issue helps and saying what changed. And this um, pull request is relatively small. It just adds a development dependency to our project that's going to help us write cleaner code. 